So for today, I'll be treating the first shift theorem. Now, um, jokingly and at my own discretion, I actually call this multiplying by exponential minus AT theorem. We know we have multiplying by T and Tn, then we'll have dividing by T. So many at times, I actually love calling this multiplication by exponential to the power of minus 8. Now, what does it say? Remember that the last time we were solving, we agreed that the Laplace transform of f of t is always what? f of what? s. This is what we agreed on. We all agree that this is correct. So when you take the Laplace transform of a function in t, your result is a function in x. So what if we then have the Laplace transform of exponential minus a t, f of t? What do we then get as our result on this part? This will become f of s plus a. What does this tell you? This tells you that you are going to replace your s here with what? s plus a. That's the meaning. Though let me show this thing to you using integration. Now look at this. The Laplace transform of um, f of t on a normal day is the integral from 0 to infinity of f of t exponential minus s t dt. This is the Laplace transform on a normal day in terms of integral. So what would then become the Laplace transform when we have this very expression? Exponential to the power of minus a t f of t. When we have this, what do we do? This will be the integral from 0 to infinity. Your f of t is now what? Exponential minus a t f of t. So you are going to be putting everything here. Then we have our exponential minus st dt. So this is what we have. Now looking at this, this exponential, this exponential, their powers are what? Minus at minus st. So this is the integral from 0 to infinity. ft is different. So let me just keep my f of t separately. Now this is exponential. If you look at this carefully, minus is here, minus is here. So this is minus bracket. So I'm going to have what? S plus A to the power of T dt. I hope you understand why this is S plus A. Look at it. You have minus A T minus S T. Bring out the minus sign first of all. So if you bring it out, what will be remaining here? Okay, let me just say bring out minus T. So what will be remaining here? A plus what? X because minus minus will give you plus. So this is minus. It's better if S comes first. So this is S plus A then put the t at the back. So it's just still the same thing. So this expression that I now have, this expression that I now have, what do you think? It is actually similar to this first one. Look at this. We have integral 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity, f of t, f of t, exponential, exponential, dt, dt. Look at the powers. If you notice here, we have minus, this is minus, we have t, this is t. What is just the problem? This S is now what? S plus A. So this tells me that each time I want to evaluate this very guy, what do I just need to do? Since everything here is equal to F of S, it means this one is going to become F of S plus A. Because my S here has now been replaced with what? S plus A. So this is just the simple explanation to it. Now, I am going to be continuing with this. So let me solve the first question. Remember I said something here. You are concerned when we have this very theorem is used when we have exponential to the power of something multiplying another function. That is when we use this. So look at this very example here. So example one, the first one says, what is the Laplace transform of exponential 2t, t to the power of 3? Something like this. What is the Laplace transform of exponential 2t multiplying t to the power of what? 3. Now, the first thing you would want to do here is the function here is t to the power of 3. So you would want to find what the Laplace transform of t to the power of 3 is. So let me start with that. What is the Laplace transform of t to the power of 3? What would this give to you? This will give you 3 factorial divided by s to the power of 3 plus 1. If you can remember, Laplace transform of t to the power of n is what? n factorial divided by s to the power of n plus 1. So what is 3 factorial? 6 divided by s to the power of what? 4. So what does this tell me? This tells me that Laplace transform of t cubed is equal to what? 6 over s to the power of 4. So finally, finally, what would be the answer of this? They told you that anywhere you see s, 
replace it with what? S plus A. So right now, if you look at this, we have exponential here, right? So this is exponential 2t means I'm going to be having 6 over, this is my S. I'm going to say this is S minus 2 to the power of what? 4. I know you're asking, why is it minus? Please take a look at this. Look at this. See, this definition here that we had S plus A was because of exponential minus. This power has a minus. So look at this exponential. This is just 2 c so when there will, there's no minus here it means i'm going to say s minus this so it's actually very simple if there's a minus with the power for the exponential you have s plus a then if you have just a positive number you're going to replace it with what s minus a so it's just very simple there's a minus with the power you're replacing with s plus a there's a plus if it's positive you're going to be replacing it with what s minus a so that was what happened here now look at this very other um, example. So we have number 2, the Laplace transform of exponential to the power of minus 3t sine 2t. So this is sine. So that's what we have there. Now looking at this, the first question you ask yourself is, this exponential minus 3t is going to come later. So this sine 2t, what is the result when you take the Laplace transform of sine 2t. Now please take note, this will become 2 divided by s squared plus what? 4. That will become 2 divided by s squared plus 4 because sine is always a over s squared plus a squared in terms of um, the standard transforms. So this is what we have. So what do you think the Laplace transform of exponential minus 3t sine 2t will then become? This will then become 2 over, what would you be replacing S with? You replace S with what? S plus 3. So this is S plus 3 all squared plus 4. So this is what you are going to have. So right now, can I open this bracket? This will become 2 all over, open S plus 3 squared. This is S squared plus 6S plus 9 plus 4. So this is 2 over S squared plus 6S plus 13. So that would be the answer to that very question. That would be the answer to that very what question. So this is what we have. Next guy, number three. The Laplace transform of um, 2 exponential 3t sine 3t. Yeah, something like this. Now please take note, this exponential here is having a positive power. So it means we're going to be replacing with what? S minus 3. This is just 3, so this is going to be S minus 3. Assuming we had, like this place where we had minus 3 as the power, what do we replace with S plus 3? When you have a positive power, what do you replace with S minus 3? So it's quite simple. Now the first thing you'll be asking yourself here is, what is the Laplace transform of sine 3t? Remember that this 2 is a constant. So it simply means that this is actually 2 Laplace transform of exponential 3t sine 3t. So that's what it means. So right now, what would this become? Ask yourself, what is the Laplace transform of sine 3t first? Laplace transform of sine 3t is going to be giving me what? It's going to be giving me 3 over s squared plus 9. Remember that sine is always a all over what? s squared plus a squared. And what is your a here? 3. So 3 squared is 9, then you put 3 at the top. So right now, this will then become the Laplace transform, which is um, this guy, 2 Laplace transform of exponential 3t sine 3t is going to now become, first of all, you write this 2 times, if the Laplace transform of sine 3t is equal 3 over s squared plus 9, this s, you already replace this s with. We're going to replace it with what? S minus what? 3. So this is going to become what? Times 3 all over. This S is going to become S minus 3 all squared plus what? 9. What I've just done here is quite reasonable. Please take note. I've said it before. I am not talking for pigeon. Look at this exponential. If it has a negative power, you'll be replacing with S plus A. But if it has a positive power, 
the same way this place was Tutsi, we're going to replace it with what? S minus E. So this part was S plus 3 because we have minus 3 here. So that's why we have plus 3 here. If we have plus 3, what would this become? Minus 3. If we have plus 2, what will we have here? Minus 2. So it's just the um, reciprocal of each other. When it's plus, this will be minus. When it's minus, this will be plus. Okay. So this will then become 2 times 3 will give me what? 6 all over. Can I open x minus 3 squared very fast? You know, we're big boys and big girls. So this is x squared minus 6x plus 9. Then you add this other 9 that is here. So this is 6 over x squared minus 6x plus 18. So that would be the result for that. The last question under this, the last question under this, question 4, is going to become... The Laplace transform of exponential minus 2t, okay, to the power of minus 2t, cos 3t. So all this be equal to. The first thing you ask yourself is, what is the Laplace transform of cos 3t? That's the first thing you ask yourself before you then impute your exponential minus 2t. Remember, since this is minus 2, what are we going to be having? S plus 2. So right now, first of all, Laplace transform of cos 3t is equal to what? Remember that cos or cos, okay, anything that has to do with cos, cos is going to be s first of all. It's going to be s divided by what? s squared minus what? 9. Cos is what? Minus. Cos is plus. So right now we have s over s squared minus 9. So that's what we have as our result. Now, the Laplace transform, where we then multiply that by exponential minus 2t, what do you think would then become our result? Now, this is the exponential minus 2t. The result for cos 3t, anywhere you see s, what would you be putting? s plus 2. So this is s, this will become s plus 2, divided by, this is s again, so this is s plus 2, all squared, then minus what? 9. Now, can we simplify this expression very fast? Yes, we can. This will become s plus 2 divided by what? s squared plus 4x minus 5. Yes, I, I think I did that very fast. When you square it, you're going to have 4. 4 minus 9 is what? Minus 5. So right now, this will be the result for this very guy. The next video is going to be on multiplying by t theorem. So this is the first shift theorem. Thank you very much for watching this very video.